Alright, time for an Evelyn game. I am against a Master Yi. So that should be an interesting matchup. He doesn't invade me too often. However, I will definitely not win a 1v1 against him unless I get a full charm off. So yeah, that could be problematic, let's say. Otherwise, like mid lane should be reasonably easy to gank. So he's very immobile and bot lane is going to be my main focus to gank. Early game, I can like pre-level 6 gank the Mordekaiser potentially. But after 6, I will probably not take that risk because his death realm is an interesting ability when it comes to trying to gank him so yeah I, i'd rather not i'm gonna place the ward there and base in case he cheeses me somehow you ret having red trinket on eve pre-6 is good for ganks but after six you don't want to have red trinket anymore because it gives away your position so just take the normal trinket again and after level nine you can get blue trinket so yeah, I'm gonna path towards top lane, full clear towards top lane. Maybe see if I can get like an early gank on the Mordekaiser. If I can, that would be nice. If I cannot, then well, I just have to live with it. And I'm just gonna focus on bot lane afterwards. Bot lane, mid lane, stuff like that. Also, the elo of this game is like low diamond. Diamond 4, maybe plat 1. Barely on that edge. Evelyn, by the way, nice buffs this patch. 20 seconds early on your ult cooldown is big. That is so nice for extra gank pressure. So I don't know why they... Like, I know, like, I, they gave the reason why they did it, but I, I don't know about that. Like, the reason they gave is because Dark Seal and Lich Bane uh, got nerfs. And that's Evelyn's core, which I understand, but she was still in a very good spot regardless. But uh, yeah, with the new ult changes, 20 seconds off your ult cooldown early game. And then 10 seconds second rank, I'll take it. I will take it. Since I'm clearing towards this side, I'm going to take another point in Q. It's slightly faster. Because of the AoE uh, damage here. And Mordekaiser is pushing. I will full clear. Like, I don't have charm anyway, so ganking right now is not gonna even help me. But clearing towards here, like, I knew he was gonna be pushing in, and I know that I have, like, an opportunity for an early game gank. The only issue is, if the Mastery does show up, I may have some problems winning that 2v2, because Mastery with Hail of Blades is scary strong. I'm just gonna smite this for speed, actually. Realistically, don't think that I can contest Top Scuttle in a 1v1 against Master Yi. The only thing I might be able to do is just get the early gank here. If not, I'm just going to take the recall. Looks like he warded, and I think Master Yi is top. They also have mid lane priority, so I'm just going to press recall here. It's actually just safer. Get this. Um, no, not boots. I'm going to get the AP. I think Monster is just like top side there. I don't have the room. Mordekaiser went to ward one of these sides. So I may... Yeah, he, he walked all the way back. There's a chance that Monster he double scuttled me here. But I wouldn't be able to do anything either way. Because I have a Cassidy in mid lane. And he just has negative lane priority against Zoe. Pretty much permanently. So that's a little scary. There's a Monster Yi here. This should not be happening. My bot lane has the priority for this. Missed this hook. I'm gonna focus her. She doesn't have flash anymore, so it's a free kill. Okay, or I just get fed. She has flash now, so I'm realistically just not gonna kill her. She's just gonna escape. If I can maybe give him an E. Nope. The flash she picked up somewhere just kind of hurt. I should not be hitting that wave. That's really good for me. I'll take three kills. Don't mind me. I, I just have so much prio there on bot lane that realistically with the matchup we also already have there as well like uh, nautilus against the sona like samira nautilus against ezreal sona we should never lose that scuttle in a or we should never lose the fight either way like it's good that Mal, Mal, uh, malfa tp there as well don't get me wrong but the fight should be should have been pretty solid for us regardless 
Evelyn is pretty strong early game as well, so... Yeah, as you saw, like, I did a lot of damage, and as soon as the Sona flashed in, I knew I was just gonna go for the Sona, because that man is just has no escapes anymore, so it's just a free kill. I even picked up the first blood. Now I'm just gonna finish my jungle clear here, these last two camps to hit six. I don't want to lose my jungle tempo based off that fight. So I'm not gonna back with, even though I have a lot of gold, right? I'm not gonna back and lose my jungle tempo, my jungle efficiency on that one fight. If I clear these two camps, then everything will be sim like still somewhat in order and I will be up on experience by a lot. And experience leads are even more important than gold leads. If you can get an experience lead, it usually goes hand in hand, but experience leads are more valuable. So I do not want to drop that. And also I want to hit six on Eve as fast as I can, of course. He's now level six, so I will not be ganking top lane again. Maybe if I, like, know he d he uses ult or something, but it's just too risky for him pressing ult on me and me just instantly dying. Getting tier 2 boots here for mobility across the map. And then we'll buy this thing. Beautiful. He did dragon, that is fine. I will switch back to a warding trinket, actually, because I'm almost 6. I don't really care about losing a dragon early. Like, losing some of your clear on the dragon early is not that big of a deal. Uh, one or two dragons don't lose you the game, but jungle tempo will win me the game, essentially. So him spending all that time on dragon and me getting to clear my camps, essentially, just gives me a slight edge. I just need to get blue here. I'll smite it as well, it doesn't matter. Some extra clear speed. And then I'll just go for the bot lane, because I know they both don't have flash, so this should be very easy. There we go, I have my ult ready. I know Sona doesn't have flash, so like... Gonna sneak past the Ezreal here. All the way behind. There we go. Didn't have to ult. Beautiful. Maybe maybe I should have just ulted, actually, to try to snipe the kill away from my ADC. But yeah. Ult cooldown is now lower. Oh, we can definitely I can definitely kill this guy. Oh, there's a control ward here. Come on, then. One hit. There we go. Uh, the ideal combo you do there in that situation, because you full charm him, right? You have a little bit amount of limited amount of time. You QE and then instantly press ult. So he can't... Like, that's a combo that just hits in your full charm, and there's nothing they can do about it. He was trying to, like, Q me or juke me out in that situation, so he would be able to dodge my charm, but he just was not able to do it. Charm hit, he got one shot. And also, if it wouldn't one shot and he tried to click Q on me multiple times, Desire would have gotten some extra damage on him, which, um, yeah, my ult would have dodged his Q essentially. So, we're looking good. Next back, I'm gonna go get a Magi since I have 10 stacks on my uh, Dark Seal, so there's no reason not to get it. Also, I currently have 6 out of 6 skill participation, which is good. I would love to go for top scuttle, but I simply cannot. My Malphite is in base, my ult is on cooldown, and a no mastery is gonna beat me in a 1v1 still. It's just a mastery with Hill of Blades, like, I'm not willing to take the risk for a measly scuttle. He could definitely be doing Rift Herald, though. It's what I would do in his shoes. Without my ult, I can't really contest a Rift Herald here. And also, the, the priority, I mean, just having a Cassidy in your team, Essentially, Cassidy and Malphite are both the same same thing, but then for this, for different lanes. Because they don't have pressure, and they will just like play safe the entire way through, so I have nothing to gain there. There's the Herald play. I was expecting that one. I can't do much about this. As I mentioned, Cassidy and Malphite, it is what it is. I'm okay with that as well. Like, it's fine. Go for this. Not level 9 yet. It's gonna go back bot lane. I have a Magius now, so I'm gonna snipe all the kills. I will not, like, um, hesitate to ult. And the last time I didn't ult here, uh, gave, I essentially gave the kill to my ADC, but this time I'm not gonna hesitate to ult because I have a Magius. My flash is up, which means Sona's flash should be up as well. So keep that in mind. I think the Master is gonna be, like, bot side here somewhere. I'll, I'll go for it. I'm gonna die here. I 
Oh, beautiful. Got all the kill snipes as well. 22 Magi stacks. I need to run. I don't know where Zoe is. Zoe's right there. I'm not I'm not playing with this. This is so nice. Right there, I'm just sniping all of it. Like every single kill. Magi stacks are king. Nine out of nine kill participation as well. Eight out of those kills. I'm gonna pop off here in a second. Build 60 seconds, my entire jungle is respawning, so I'm gonna speed clear this. He's gonna go for that dragon. I know he's gonna go for that dragon. I don't want to do it without ult though. Like, I don't want to contest him for it without the ult. Also, Kassin is backing right before the spawn. So, I wouldn't even be able to turn around here. I'm just gonna finish my clear, get my mythic, and just give him another dragon. If he rushes it. If he doesn't rush it, I'm just gonna reset here and go get, get the dragon myself. But, I just don't have the prio for it right now. Okay, stop side. That's beautiful. That means that I do not lose dragon. I really do not want to do this, but maybe. I need him to force the ultimate or I'm just not gonna... I'm just gonna make his herald useless, honestly. Right. He's gonna rush dragon here. I just need to back, get my mythic real quick, get the blue trinket, buy another control ward, why not? Ah, just... Yeah, he got another dragon. He used the top lane and instantly ran to dragon to bait my attention, which is smart. But I knew realistically that I don't... I guess I could have just recalled. But if I recalled there and Malfi actually goes for the dive on Malphite, I think we would have lost more than losing just one simple uh, cloud dragon. So I think overall it's still fine here. It is what it is. He played that pretty smart with the Rift Herald bait. I'll definitely say that much. Okay, that's one off the map. I just don't do it. That's a Mordekaiser. I'm not gonna get ulted. I will not get ulted here. That control ward's messing with me as well. Oh boy, he's going to... I need him to slow. I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's a pretty hefty slow, yeah, it's going to be enough. Malphite Q slow is just insane. He maxed it as well, I'm pretty sure. I will not get Mordekai's ulted. I can kill him if my full charm lands. Yeah, never mind. I can still kill, and that's too risky. It's okay. I just zone. I can't go in on that because the Ezreal has actually potential to kill me there. Mordekaiser doesn't die that easily in that, sta in that stage because it's just Mordekaiser. So I just have to respect that a little bit. I do not want to risk a 25 Magi stack lead or essentially a risky kill without my ult on off cooldown against the Mordekaiser. The champ's just scary, man. It is just very scary. And from here on out, I need to get these next dragons. I cannot give him soul point. That is That would be bad. Giving up these early two dragons is fine, but giving him soul point would be really bad for me. Because if they don't decide... Like, if they don't win one fight or get, like, the soul out of it, we just lose the game. If she gets greedy. I know. That's unfortunate. I wonder if she gets greedy. Malfi uh, Mordekai's or Ilse still be, should still be on cooldown. I'm almost level 11. I think the wave is going to give me it. Wait for the full charm. Beautiful. I do a good amount of damage. I really hope my support comes back. I do not want to finish this game in a 4v5. And get this. I'm actually think I'm gonna go get Banshee's here. 
I think I'm gonna get Banshees because that means I cannot get one click Mordekaiser or ulted. I cannot get Zoe bubbled. And I cannot get Sona ulted to die. Also, they have quite a lot of magic damage. So I think it's gonna be fine going for a Banshees. Got him. Good. I really was hoping my ult would do slightly more damage, but it was just barely not enough. I do have a lead, and I could go for like a death cap or something, but just to play it safe against like their one shot potential and Mordekaiser or ult potential, I'm just gonna go for the Banshees. It's by far the safest route to go for right now. Ah, but Nautilus is still AFK. We have to 4v5 dragon fight this, that's not good. I'll get, I'll get the Lich Bane next, I guess. Wait, he's reconnected? Beautiful, he's just in time, great. That is what we like to see. If Cassidy can keep this guy top lane, that'd be good. I'll take that. My ult's back up as well here. I have a Banshees now, so this is good. And I'll get completely messed up. Clear the control ward. One shot her, she exhausted me as well. I do not want to smite her there, that would be really bad, because then I wouldn't have smite for dragon. And I do not want that. Okay, we just charm here, wait for passive. Don't have to wait for passive all the way and just uh, full, like fully hit it from 1500 HP. I'm gonna go for his red buff here. I think I should be able to do it. Oh, cast it in. Fight this down. Okay, that works. Okay, Whew. if that hit me, I'm... actually I'd had Banshees, I wouldn't have died, I don't think, but it would have been close. Just gonna wait patiently here. I need him to clear that. I don't think Cassidy should have TP'd there, to be honest. Kind of ruined my play. That bubble kills me. Insta ult out, okay. I knew his ult was going to be on cooldown still, but he is still scary to teleport in there. He's, they're going too aggressive. Maybe I should have stuck around. I think we, I, like, in my mind, we always back there because it's they're going to come out of base once again, and that would just be bad. But my team doesn't didn't agree there. What I did to the Mordecai there was just I press instantly E with my passive proc E dashes towards and my ult can never miss. So insta E ult. This is looking okay. Need a little bit more gold for my Lich Bane. Gonna finish with a Death Cap. I don't think they're actually gonna build Magic Resist. At least not very early. I mean, the top laner could, but uh, yeah. The rest of their team is fairly squishy. I think he's actually gonna go for a Wit's End. Do I not go for Lich Bane here? I think, I think I may regret going for the Lich Bane if I do it. I think I'm just gonna go Void Staff Death Cap and just live with that. Yeah, that should be better. Because if I'm not going to have a Void Staff, and I'm pretty sure the Yi uh, is going to build a Wit's End soon. I need the Magic Penetration. Yeah, I need the Magic Penetration. Okay. I can get my Lich Bane here, but I think I'm just going to sell my Wisp then. Get myself the Void Staff. I actually, no. I'm going to get myself two Large Frogs right now. I don't need the Magic Penetration yet, so if I just go for the Death Cap now, and then I can transition that into the Void Staff afterwards. I think that's going to be my best bet. I'm getting every single kill though. Like, I wanted all the kills until my Magius was fully stacked, but now I'm just getting everything. I really need my Samira to pick up some kills. Okay, Rift Herald, that's fine. I'm just gonna go for a sneak tactic. Wait for the, uh, the, the good old classic. Someone walks into lane and they insta die. Gonna walk towards me, and then he's dead. Good. 
He, like, that's why you walk into mid lane deep like that, because there's nothing they can... Like, they will never expect you to do it. The better the player, the more they expect something like that, but it's not really realistic for them to consistently expect it. I'm gonna get spotted by this pathing, but I think this pathing takes priority instead of going around. They have to respect me completely. Ooh, losing my banshees there is pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for that. You need to I need to I need to get a little bit more gold for my death cap. If I can get just get a tiny amount more and then we play for Drake, that'll be good. My death cap is gonna give me huge amounts of AP, so I do not wanna fight before I finish that right now. I need this. I need one more camp here, and that's gonna give me my uh, my death cap. All right, there it is. Beautiful. Let me get the cap. Let's hope they don't overextend here. I have seven. Like I basically gained like 200 AP off of buying death cap there. That is massive. Now all I have to do is get Void Staff here, and then this Wits Entity's currently building is basically cancelled out. He's, she's gonna build a Banshees as well, yeah. We need this. We need. We need to just. Samira just recalled. Are you serious? That is bad. I cannot get more cars or ultimates. I'm gonna go for the Zoe. I'm going for Zoe. I do not want to ulter if I, I can avoid it. Good. Zoe was the one on the side there, so that's the one I'm gonna go for the pick for. Hopefully my team doesn't get crushed here on the back end. That's death, that's death, and this is death. My ult missed, but it doesn't matter. Alright, good. The Zoe was just a free pick off on the side, so that's the one you go for first if you make target selection like that. Oh, they have hefted. Alright, cool. If you guys wanna if you guys have enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below, I'll see you quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!